we're here at the Urban Farm today installing our new Sun Grabber solar hot water heater system. In back of me, we've got a crew of guys to get it ready for our open house this afternoon. We have a proven track record. We first developed these collectors back in the late 60s. Right now, we see a big movement across the country of people actually going back and considering solar energy. Arizona, 300 plus days of sunshine a year, and it fits. This coupled with tax credits, federal, state, and local utility companies, it makes it very affordable for the, uh, for the homeowner. It's a brand new system developed in conjunction with the Department of Energy and the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. It's low profile, low cost, it's flexible, it won't overheat, it's freeze protected. It solves all the inherent issues of past solar water heating systems. An old fashioned solar water heating system is actually much bigger, much bulkier, and guaranteed it costs significantly more. The major components of the system are the solar collectors, 80 feet of PEX tubing to connect the solar collectors to the water heater, a drain back tank to provide excellent freeze protection, a circulation module that's pre-plumb that includes two high-end pumps and a heat exchanger, and all the plumbing, all the fittings you need, along with a high-end automated electronic solar controller. Proper height. Is that red line over here, Mike? Is that the height? Actually, it fill all the way up until it just passes the screen right here. This is the min level. Well, behind me, you'll see we have three two foot by 12 foot solar collectors. There's roof jacks on the bottom left and the top right. Putting the roof jack over the hole, the PEX tubing is going to come out through here that connects the solar collectors down to the water heater down below. The whole system is controlled by an electronic solar controller and when the sun comes out and there is available solar energy, the system activates. The pumps push water from a tank down by your water heater up to the solar collectors and begin to circulate water through the solar collectors. When the system turns off at night or if your water heater has reached maximum temperature, all the water that's on your roof circulating through the solar collectors and in your attic, it all drains back into a little tank that's right next to your water heater. A typical uh, hot water heater takes uh, $400 to $500 a year to run. If you can use one of these solar hot water heaters to offset 60 or 80 percent of that, I mean you're looking at you know, a couple, three, four hundred dollars a year that you can save. You can really get anywhere between 75 and 80 or even more percent of your hot water needs for the year come from our panels. With the federal credits and the state and local credits that are available, you can pay off our system in as little as three or four years. Big reason to do this is if you're considering solar energy as a way to reduce your carbon footprint on the planet, to save yourself some money, this is the technology to look at.